Hi guys, I'm Ilaf and welcome to my video. Today we'll discuss about some common OneDrive issues. So let's have a look at the issue. So when a user clicks on a OneDrive application from his M365 app launcher, he is redirected to his Delf page instead of opening the OneDrive site. So I'll switch back to my test lab so I can show you the issue. This is my user, Luke. Whenever Luke tries to click on the OneDrive application from his M365 app launcher, he's getting redirected to his Delf page instead of opening his OneDrive site. So that is my issue or that is my user's issue. All right, so switching back to our presentation, we'll discuss the cause of this issue. So this issue usually occurs when the user's OneDrive site is not yet provisioned or created, or maybe the SharePoint or Globin administrator has not given the permission for this users or a set of users to create their personal sites. So whenever uh, the permission to create personal site is not granted to these users, uh, whenever they click on the OneDrive application from the M365 portal, it will redir redirect them uh, automatically to their Delf page instead of their OneDrive site. So to resolve this issue, you can either use your SharePoint admin account or your global admin account, and we will have a look at how to resolve this issue. So it's better if we do it rather than following this set of steps. So I'll switch back to my admin account. So I'm at the SharePoint admin center with my global admin account. So this is the new experience. I'll go to more features over here. I'll go to user profiles and I'll open it. So in people section, I'll look for manage user permissions. And keep a note, uh, if everyone except external users group is not added over here, you need to make sure that you add this group or maybe you can add the single user if you do not want all the users uh, in this list or uh, in the permissions list, you can add individual users or security group. But for now, I'm just uh, clicking on my everyone except external users group. And once I clicked on it, I can check permission for this group. And I need to make sure that create personal site permission is selected or we need to select the checkbox and click on OK. All right, that is done. I'll switch back to my user's account. So this is my user's account. I'll refresh the page. And I'll ask my user to click on the OneDrive icon again or the OneDrive tile from the app launcher. So it's the first run. Okay, it directly redirected me to Delft page. I think it is taking time to replicate the changes that we made in the uh, SharePoint Admin Center. So let's wait for five to 10 minutes. So after waiting for a couple of minutes, let's give it a try again. Here we go. So the issue is resolved for my user and now the user can successfully access his OneDrive site by clicking on the OneDrive application from the app launcher. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe our channel and you can follow my blog. I will provide the link in the description.